Cousins drives and finishes. And another nice feed from Cousins. When you look back at what you did in game two, how does it feel knowing you had to work to the level you had to work just to get there? That's what it's about. I know what it's like to, I know the feeling of like, you know, this might be it, you know? Um, so every chance I get to be on the floor, I'm gonna leave it on the floor. Um, Cause you know, this is a game I've played my entire life and I, I know how fast it can be taken away. It can be, it can be gone with a snap of a finger. I don't take any of this for granted. It has been such a long road for you to get to this moment of you and I sitting across from each other. The injury that you got when you were in New Orleans, a year of rehab, you get back, you finally get to the playoffs, your first playoff game. <laughs> Boom, quad injury. How did you get to the point? Because I know I talked to you in a couple days after the injury. I don't want to say that you felt sorry for yourself, but you were deep in it. I was just ready to quit, like throw the towel in. And, um, you know, you always, Human nature is the first thing is like, why? Why me? Why now? What did I do wrong? Why do I deserve this? It was about 45 days between when you got knocked out in the Clippers series to when you were coming back in the NBA Finals. It was 45 days. How grueling was that? I didn't even realize it was 45 days, but um, just the tedious work. Just, it's just, you come in and you just do the same thing over and over again. And in these days where it, you just like, you know what, this is not even working. <laughs> right. Like, this is not working. But you gotta trust in this person that's, you know, putting you through these exercises. You gotta trust in yourself like, you know, this is everything I need to get back to where I wanna be. So, it's, the physical part wasn't the hard part. It's, everything mental that comes with. What made you fight back to actually get on this court? Because there were a lot of people who by the time they got to that last thing would have been like, I give. I would be lying to say I didn't really have to, like I had to dig deep. I, I had to do some soul searching and you know, throughout both, both injuries, it was times where I just, you know, like forget it. Like I'll just take my time with it and whatever happens, happens. And, I just, I couldn't go out that way. I've been doubting my whole life. I made it a mission to prove those people wrong and you know, I'm gonna continue to do that. Um, I won't go out without a fight. And that's, that's just how I'm wired. You also had the extra mental level of the fact that you knew your free agency was coming up again this summer. Who knows? <laughs> do you think that you've proved something to people though with this comeback? Because it's not just, okay, I'm, I'm durable, right? I got back from this injury too, I can still do it. But also the maturity you showed in the discipline in getting back for these finals. Honestly, I care more about proving, proving it to myself. Yeah. Like, I don't think anybody's ex expectations are higher than my own. So it's more about proving myself right or wrong than anything else. How would you assess your game one? You played eight minutes. It was horrible. <laughs> horrible. <laughs> game one was horrible for me. Horrible. How come? Uh, it's not the best I've seen you play. <laughs> it, right, but just rhythm off. Uh, just I felt out of place the entire game. And every time I felt like I had my feet underneath me, I kind of, it was I was pulled back. Right. And, you know, it was just everything that comes with it. But, uh, you know, I used it. I used it for what it was worth. DeMarcus Cousins got the start. 11 points, 10 rebounds, six assists. Just his second game back after missing 45 days with that quad tear. You were supposed to play about 20 minutes in game two. You ended up playing 28 minutes in game two because of all the injuries to your teammates. You're probably gonna have to carry a heavy load in game three. Is your body up to that? Your body doesn't take you wherever your mind goes, so. Uh, if I can do it in my mind, I think my body will follow. How do you? It's interesting. A few months ago, you came out and said, "I don't really want to be called Boogie anymore." Your nickname came in kind of a cool way. Rod Strickland, of all people, was nah. like, "He's got a little Boogie in his game." Let's let's correct it. Okay, so what happened? I don't mind being called Boogie. Okay. I don't like the way it's said. Like, explain. Tell and me. it's just kind of dragged out. Boogie, Boogie. like. Just, it's a little too much for me. It's like okay. childish, like cartoons. Okay. It's just boogie. Okay. Or bug. Like, 
I'm good with it. All right, because I always thought it was a good nickname. I was kind of sorry to see you leave it behind. (laughs) Yeah, I've (laughs) I've grown to, you know, like the name, but Mm -hmm. it's just the way it says. Sometimes it's kind of a little irritating. Do you feel that being here this year has had a significant impact or changed you in any way and that you're going to leave here different from when you came? Absolutely. I came in different, so I I know I'm leaving out different. Um, This is... This has been a ride, to say the least. So, um, I'm definitely a, a different person. 